Hello everybody. Welcome in Offenbach on the River Main and welcome at the Klingspur Museum, one of the finest places in the world to show typography and type design and calligraphy and book design and plenty of these things too. We provide a beautiful collection of around 80,000 pieces and one of the first ones to show is this type pro by Otto Eckmann which was done in 1901 and it's one of the most beautiful things that came out in terms of type design in the area of Art Nouveau and you can see the richness of this pro and you can see that there's type, yes, in a very delicate way, obviously done with a brush instead of a pen, but you also can see that there is plenty of other things like ornaments and this ornament and print combination is so important for the early days of Karl Klingspor and his type foundry. But in fact, we are dealing with modern pieces as well. Very, very strange um, books and pieces of type. Here you can see a beautiful book of Daniel Van Hoer. Um, and he shows us how he is very engaged in doing his writing. Letter by letter, he uses a special form of um, writing uh, in intensive way, uh, a special amount of time he would choose for every of his uh, letters, and it's chalk and pen he's mixing, and he's doing a wonderful drawing rather than a writing. And yes, on the other hand, he is writing like a draw. And in the Klingspor Museum, we are very interested in all the kinds of atmosphere that can appear when very different people come to join um, and share their wonderful ideas of how to write, actually. And mm, let me show you this other book, mm, which was done by Otto Zielke, an artist from East Berlin and he was a great cartoonist and then he changed to do his books in writing and drawing and he has a very elegant, very freestyle way of writing his sentences and combining them with his uh, little um, cartoon figures and it's a very, very strong way of making uh, the word alive. But it's not only handwriting, of course, but we have um, type on the other hand. See this wonderful book here, which is an artist book by Edition de Pal in Mainz. And it's dealing with the French philosopher Antonin Artaud, who did a kind of new inventing of language, uh, including all the uh, strange uh, ways of sound we are including in language, like mm, ah, mm -hmm. and he used it to make his surrealistic way of thinking visible. And that's what uh, in Johannes Stugala and his wife, um, Francois Depal, show in this book how typography can be so intelligent in transporting uh, what the idea of the philosopher Antonin Artaud was. And therefore, you see these very experimental ways of combining different typefaces and uh, having small and bigger figures. And so it's a very energetic way of transporting the language into the typeface. And you can see the very little spots of lithography in the book which seem to be painting, but in, in fact, they are typography on their own way of being into the book. Mm -hmm. So this is the wonderful saying of uh, Antonin Artaud, uh, the uh, 
alphabet is uh, like a bird to eat to make the wonderful uh, richness clear of, uh, of what language and typography can have. Mm -hmm. So, and finally I want to show you this book. It seems to be sort of simple, but in fact it's very strange. Look at it. Hmm? Would you be able to say what it is? Hmm? Well, maybe you have it easier when I put it like this, and you may find A, B, C, and obviously it's the following letters to form the whole of the alphabet. And as, in fact, Thomas Maurer, the artist, did a very, very simple trick. He folded each of the letters once, and you are asked to try to fold back these letters when looking at, looking at them. And so this starts, obviously, a reflection of your regarding the letter to make your picture of the letter and to get to the idea of language in general. So this is only a very, very few examples to make clear that we are very interesting, uh, that we are very interested in so many aspects of typography and of calligraphy and that the book is a wonderful containment of all these aspects artists bring in. Mm -hmm.